Hello, Lena from Xmate Mastery here. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I've been on quite a little bit of a break here this summer, taking some time off, spend time with family and fun things, but now I'm back in the saddle. So I would like to continue the thought, the last video that I released, which is how to create a step down into a room. So today we're gonna to look at how to create multiple step downs into that room. It was requested by actually five or six people after I released that last video. So I thought I'd go ahead and follow up with the second one, showing how to make it a little bit more complex. And uh, it is kind of a different thought process to do that. So let's take a look at how to create multiple step downs into a sunken room here in today's video. Let's take a look at how to create that step down area with multiple steps. So first I'm going to show what I've done in 3D. So you've got the regular level sitting here. This is all the same floor height as you can see. And then we've got three steps down into this area. Maybe it's a theater or I just call it a family room. And um, let me show you how I created this area. So what I'm going to do is actually just delete off what I have. Do do maybe. Let's go ahead and scoot in here. There we go. Okay. So, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull the room back in. I'm going to delete the missing walls so that I can just create a room back here as I had it. So I'm actually not going to remove the walls until I complete the process. I'm going to leave the walls here and this is going to be called the family room. Okay. But I'm not going to name it quite yet. What I'm going to do is use multiple rooms, then combine them to create this area, the step down effect. So let's say that there was a one foot six step down. So I'm gonna pull out the room, one foot six, then I'm gonna break it over here to the left where it connects to the rest of the floor plan and pull that down and then adjust the wall here. Zooming in helps a lot with this process. So we could just uh, make it one more inch. There we go, one foot six. Now, what I need to do with this room is make it drop in the relation to level and then also raise the ceiling. Otherwise, you'll get a step down ceiling. So what I'm going to do is go to the properties. And um, actually, now that I think about it, when you look at the one foot six here, you're going to have to adjust that after you remove the walls because it's adding four inches on either side right now that when we remove the walls, it's actually going to be two foot. As you can see here, actually that's on center. We'll play around with it. I'm just letting you know that setting it at exact won't matter because when we delete this four inch thick wall on either side, it's going to make that step wider. So just be aware of that when you're setting this up. I set it up usually and then go back and tweak everything. Okay, let's drop this first step. We're going to go to the properties. We're going to the floor height. I'm going to drop it one foot below. The ceiling height is 17 because of this staircase over here that has drawn. So I'm actually going to go up to the next foot on that ceiling and go to 18 like this. So normally it would be an eight foot ceiling and you just add a foot. So that's what we're going to do with that. I'm also going to turn off the room label. So where it says label yes, I'm going to say no. Otherwise, you'll have all these little labels hanging out and it looks really funky. So I'm just going to hold down my control key, hover over the wall, left click, hold and drag. We're going to go to, to, go to what, one foot six again, even though it doesn't really matter because we're going to be removing the walls. Then use a square break tool and bring that down. I think if you have any experience in Xactimate, you know where I'm going with this. So we're going to go ahead and um, let me move that in. There we go. We're going to go ahead and go back and go floor height two foot below the level. And uh, show label is going to be no. And our ceiling height is now going to be 19 because we're two foot below. We need to add two more feet there. And for the last, I'm going to just hold down my control key and pull this out and make this three foot below and the ceiling height 20 feet. I do want the room label to show, but this is going to be the family room. Now we're going to do the fun part. We're going to go ahead and take away all of the walls. So it looks like a room, which is crazy. Uh, it's really fun to do that. And then I can adjust my to one effect to one foot six here, as you can see, taking away the walls added inches to each step. So we want to actually correct that and take it back into one foot six. You can go ahead and click on the wall, click on the dimension and just type it in if you wanted to. And we should have some nice looking area there for our stairs for our custom home. Now, um, the family room label being down to the right might not bother you, but it bothers me because it's not centered in the room 
you know, quote unquote room. Um, so what you can do is click on the family room label, hover over that diamond and hit your space bar. Just hit it once, don't hold your space bar down. And then you can left click hold that, drag that back up and make it look more normal for you. But at the end of the day, you get to create that effect. If you wanted to do it all the way around a room, like in the center of a floor plan, you would have to create um, the room. Let's go there. So for those of you that asked that question about the step down, hopefully that helps. If you have further questions, of course, put it in the comments below. Also, if you like this topic, be sure to like this video and subscribe to follow this channel. I usually try to release a video like this uh, every week. So if you subscribe, you'll get the notification. For more information on Eximate Mastery and the training that I offer for contractors, go to eximatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week in your business and I will see you next week.